Hey, greetings, everyone. Glenn Kellaway from the basement. It's Sunday. Videos two days in a row. I guess I'm settled. I was doing be videos so sporadically this past month. <laughs> Go three, four, or five days with between videos. Now it's like you're going to get sick of me, as if you already weren't. Um, today I want to talk about, because this is so fresh in my mind, the Faces BBC set that I've been talking about the last couple of videos. Still loving this, man. It's just, you just rock out to the Faces. It's great. I love it. Um, so I thought I would pull out all my BBC Sessions uh, collection. 10 or 11 different things here to show you, uh, including that. Um, BBC Sessions. BBC uh, kind of jumped on the pop market. That was that was the way like, people in Britain got their music, I guess, until the pirate radio stations uh, hit. Um, <coughs> I believe... They had uh, just BBC Radio and then something called BBC Light Programming, which would feature a little bit of pop stuff. And then uh, gradually, I think in 1967, John Peel joined the uh, organization and then they started branching out into doing more stuff and started out with a, a new channel called Radio One, which was all about pop music and stuff like that. Or uh, I believe that's... People in Britain can can straighten me out. That's the, the version I know. Anyway, so obviously the first BBC sessions I was aware of was the Beatles at the BBC. Now this is the, the uh, jewel case version, so this is the first one that came out. Um, great little interviews and great uh, um, versions of songs and stuff. They did all their songs, but when you get this, you get all kinds of stuff like... Uh, like uh, I got a woman, too much monkey business, uh, young blood, shot of rhythm and blues. You get all kinds of stuff that you don't get from Beatles. It's a great set. If you don't have this in your Beatles fan, shame on you. Just some great stuff on there. Um, they eventually put out a volume two of on air, live at the BBC, volume two. Um, this has a lot of early stuff, too, on it. Uh, I guess stuff that wasn't on Volume 1. But anyway, another one. You need them both. Uh, the Stones. Uh, 1963 to 65, the Stones made quite a few appearances. Now, when you talk about BBC sessions, it's misleading, and you think maybe these bands have come to the radio station and, and recorded songs, but that's not necessarily the case. Most of them were done on location in clubs, and things like that. I'm sure there were, were some where they were in the a BBC studio, but uh, a lot of them were from the Saturday Club and whatever. Uh, but uh, Rolling Stones, a complete British radio broadcast, 1963 to 65. And also they released this one called Rolling Stones on Air, a BBC recording. Um, both great if you're a Stones fan. Uh, these are great because the performances are so cool. And you got to put up with a bit of uh, banter from the hosts and introductions and stuff, but it's it's worth it to get the magic of the music. Um, the Yardbirds, live at the BBC, The Yardbirds. Uh, this has interviews with Keith Ralph and um, right back to uh, For Your Love and uh, Heart Full of Soul and then goes straight through to Shapes of Things and... <clears throat> over under sideways down goes right through pretty much the whole history of the prime years of the yardbirds um awesome stuff awesome who else did a session how about cream 1967 cream a lot of stuff from the first album rolling and tumbling uh wrapping paper cat squirrel train time uh i feel free nsu uh, and also covers uh, the the Disraeli Gears album with Strange Brew and Tales of Brave Ulysses and We're Going Wrong. Great stuff. BBC Sessions. Cream. Jimi Hendrix. They started this channel called Radio One. I think these were all from Radio One. Uh, Hendrix playing at the Saturday Club. These were recorded just after... He finished recording Are You Experienced? I'm not even sure if the album had been released yet when they started doing BBC sessions with the Jimi Hendrix experience. Um, Led Zeppelin, great one. 
Led Zeppelin, this is an awesome one. The BBC Complete Sessions, Led Zeppelin. Most of these were recorded in 1969, I believe. Uh, some of these in a studio, some in uh, a club. Um, prime time for Zepp, as far as I'm concerned. The first two albums, would three have been out yet? I'm not sure. But uh, great stuff, Zeppelin. And uh, last but not least, because I have shown the faces one, I'll show it again. There's the faces live at the BBC. And one I got earlier this year that is absolutely fantastic. I know all of you aren't going to be Burt Yanch fans, but Burt Yanch at the BBC. Eight CDs of performances. Fantastic stuff. There's a lot of interviews, a lot of banter, but the, again, the songs are just priceless. The performances are priceless. The sound quality is generally good sometimes the odd one you know but mostly i have no problem and i and i'm not one to listen to something if it doesn't sound good so um yeah bbc stuff pretty cool uh, the ones i'm missing i know there's a bowie at the beeb um let me know the ones you've got i'm pretty sure there are quite a few of them um i'm don't know if the kinks ever did one uh I think there's a who. Um, I'd love to get more of them. But uh, as I see them in my travels, I, I, I pick them up. Um, other than that, uh, I am still waiting for my speakers. It's uh, Sunday, so nothing's going to be done on the weekend. I'm hoping earlier in the week. Um, yeah, things are going well. There's kind of uh, my uh, record collection there, books and whatever. Uh, CD collection behind me and um, some pictures. I'm starting to get pictures up on the wall. Got the TV roll going now, football today. Uh, um, all my autographed wall right there and um, stereo system as it stands right now set up. Those speakers will be history. I love these speakers, though. Monitor, audio, silver, Series 300 speakers. They've been fantastic, but I'm ready to move on to a bookshelf speaker to um, uh, something that will last me the rest of my life, no matter where I move. If I, I get the feeling that my age, there's going to be some downsizing to do. At some point, I'm going to have to move into an apartment or something like where just uh, the rooms are going to get smaller and really uh, a, a good bookshelf speaker will uh, serve me well until uh, I'm no longer uh, above on this side of the grass as they say um, my dog Peyton he's if you can even see him there sleeping on the thing and uh yeah that's it so uh just did a video with larry where we did a cd exchange if you haven't watched it please go over to larry graves channel and watch that tomorrow i'm recording the last episode of the series i did with rich strickler we're going to go through the whole alphabet and rank the number one songs from each letter of the alphabet that should be fun and then hopefully start a new series we're trying to figure out what to do and um yeah that's it so everyone have a great day thanks for watching